Hey guys, Tom Snow here, coming at you with a new build video. This one is a sort of starter solo base. Um, get you a whole bunch of boxes and tool cabinets and um, furnaces in, relatively quick in the wipe. Uh, it's You can then go on to uh, further expand that into quite a big base afterwards. Yeah, essentially, uh, this one I've been using quite a lot in my last uh, few streams actually and um, it's proven quite helpful and quite handy to start off with something like this and again you know you start off relatively small it's literally two triangles and two squares and then from that you can build upwards and so this video we're essentially going to be doing that and um, we, we're gonna freestyle it you know I've got my I'll show you off my uh, my initial uh, build I'm just gonna freestyle how I want to build it from there again I have no set way I'll do it so as with every single rust build video you should take the floor plan of this and sort of uh, expand on it your own don't sit here and think okay he's made this and that's all i'm allowed to do with this base you do what the fuck you want with it man um anyone who comes in and say oh it's only like two c4 or one rocket or something to your loot no shit it's starter base stuff you expand on that stuff as you go along and it's up to you to figure out how to expand i'm just doing the basic floor plan and with this floor plan it's not original I mean, this floor plan's been around forever. It is a really great one to start with. So essentially what we're going to do, we're going to start off with a triangle. Doesn't matter how high it is, just depending on your surrounding terrain. I'm pretty uh, pretty good here when it comes to terrain. It's uh, There's a little bit of a rise there, but I don't think I need to worry about that too much. So we've got two triangles and one square here, one square there, and that's your floor plan. So I'm just going to have a quick zoom up. There you go, there's your floor plan. Quite simple indeed. Now off the bat, obviously you want to stone everything up straight away. Now when I'm playing, I tend to stone up all my foundations and then get all these walls up. Then two doors here. And depending on how early it is to wipe, I, I, you know, I might find I have to wood all this stuff up. Or I could just go straight to stone, depending if I have uh, enough resources hidden in boxes as I'm going around. Because, you know, generally on wipe day, I don't go straight to making a base. I tend to collect resources and hide them in boxes and rocks or small stashes or all that lovely stuff. But for now, this is what we are going to do. So, again, let's zoom out. Quite simple. We've got the, uh, the, the two triangles, the two squares, walled all around. And you've got two little uh, doorways here for your airlock. Alrighty, so for this, we're going to need a couple of boxes. So again, this is just a build video, so I'm going to go through this real quickly. Um, obviously, in the real world, you have to uh, create all of this stuff, but uh, let's say at the start here, I want to put my TC down nice and flat. Now, I want to go this way rather than this way because we're going to put a staircase down and we're going to have a couple of boxes in there and if it's facing this way if it's facing on its side like that towards me uh towards this part of the uh the the, the doorway then you're not going to be able to fit that second box in whereas if, it, if it's facing flat against the uh, wall here you've got more room to put a box in so we'll do that bang so we've got our tc and we'll uh, authorize on that one and from here we can do say I don't know if we can fit both of them in there, but we could fit one uh, furnace in there and straight away we can go be like, all right, we need to turn that on, create some uh, metal frags for our door. So we create our metal frags for our door and I would suggest putting that on the inside here just to start off with. So if you do tend to be door camped, if someone kills you right here, they're still not going to be able to get in the base. Whereas if you open the door over here, you know, and they kill you at your door, they're going to get straight in. So I'd do that right at the, on that one for now. All right, so you essentially you just want to find that perfect spot where the box lines up pretty much, you know, straight against the wall. So that there's no gap there, as you can see on this one. See, there's no gap there at all. That should leave us enough room to like place another large box, in my opinion. Should. But there's... Uh, there's not always 100% guarantee with these things. You are taking a risk every time you do this. So just be a little bit careful. If we can get it back just enough, we should. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. So now we have two boxes. 
large boxes, a furnace, and our tool cabinet, and we should still be able to fit. So if we throw a small box right against there, ah, okay, we're gonna have to get rid of that small box. But you know, you can come in here and then you can open the furnace and you've got room to do all that lovely stuff still. So we'll get rid of this. Now we want to build our U-shaped sh stairs. We can just go ahead and wood those up. It's not too important. And from here is where we want to... Again, this is going to be really tricky, just like it was down the, uh, the bottom with the boxes. You kind of have to find that perfect spot. And I think we may have gotten it. We might be a little bit out. And that's okay. So... If we've done this correctly, we should be able to place another box there. If not, then... Ah, oh, there we go. So you want to place that one as far back as possible. And with that there, you should still be able to put your door frame up. There we go. So now we have access to two large boxes at the top, two large boxes at the bottom, a furnace at the back, and there's our tool cabinet. So if we try and get in there, we can't get to the TC at all. That's exactly what you want. So we can go ahead, stone that one up. We can add our door on here as soon as possible. Now this is all doable while playing like early game, like while in a live server. Um, it is very risky to leave your roof open, but um, to be honest with you, uh, I've only really ever had an issue with that once and that was quickly sorted out, you know what I mean? Like sorting people out. Now on the other side, we're gonna do essentially the same thing, but uh, I suggest, oops, let's get rid of that. Why am I, ah, uh, I see. My other server. Essentially gonna do the same thing, but we probably want more furnaces this time round, don't we? So we're gonna go like full on, full furnace at the back here. So we're gonna line all those lovely things up. So we put the two outer ones first, would probably be the smarter idea for everybody. And then you put the third one in and it sits out just a little bit, but you know, as you can see, it still does actually sit in there. Um, again, we can do the whole box thing. I know I cannot fit another large box in there, and that's fine. We've got so many as it is already. And, um, I can go ahead and place maybe a couple of uh, small boxes down the side here. Yeah, now I can place that there, awesome. So again, we've got one less large box, but that's okay. We've got four over here anyway. So again, we wanna add our U-shape with the uh, that part of it facing us. You wanna add your little triangle. That way we've got plenty of room out here. We can just make sure we get as tight to that wall as possible. And if we place this, there we go. Place that perfectly. We'll add a roof while we're here. And we'll finish roofing up these. I wanna get rid of these triangles. We spend a little time cooking so we can go and add our front door now. So now we have a nice little airlock that if someone comes along, we can shoot out and we can die if we need to, or if we happen to, but they won't be able to get in the base. And we wanna go ahead and add our doorway as before. And then we have access to all of our furnaces. Well, we should have anyway. We might have a little bit of trouble accessing this very last one, but it's all about trying to find that perfect. All right, so just with the way uh, the stair seems to be working, it does seem to have changed uh, since I last did this base. So I can't actually access this furnace here from back there. So uh, essentially I would suggest skipping that one. You might be able to figure out something else to put there. But as we go, um, we still do have one, two, three furnaces, especially for a solo, that's more than enough. Alrighty, so that is essentially the the, the the beginner starter base. Really simple. Not much to it. Not an original design. It's been around forever. It has been around for a long time. Um, again, not so much original, but uh, quite helpful. And quite easy to set up with so much storage as it is. So let's uh, let's freestyle an update, shall we? So we'll do a couple of uh, triangles and squares around. This 
just use your imagination. We, you know, we've got a bit of uh, honeycomb going on here. a little uh, ladder hatch over the side there. So now we've got uh, a bit of a uh, little extra protection there. Again, it's all about uh, essentially building small to start off with and then expanding out. You know, from here we could start with maybe double walls. We could have probably started with double walls over here, but you know, from here we... This is where we might decide, oh yeah, we'll do a bit of like wall stacking. And then maybe you'll want to add some extra base around here and and uh, a hide your furnace. I mean, sure. Most people will tell you not to use all this stuff to uh, to surround your furnace, but fuck, man. It's your base. You do what you want, man. If anyone tells you there's a right way to build and a wrong way to build, then they're not enjoying Rust as it should be. Rust is all about uh, using your creativity, creativity to do, to create a base that you enjoy and what works for you. As that's why whenever somebody comes on one of my videos and says, "Oh, you know, there's only three C4 and two rockets to get to the bloody." Uh, get to the center I say so fucking what so fucking what I'm I'm not making a build video so you can sit here and build it exactly as I am every single time I'm I'm making a build video so you can sort of look at what I'm doing and I've had plenty of people do this you can look at what I'm doing and think ah oh, that's pretty cool it might work better if I do this and then you go in game and you, you start making something slightly different or drastically different using the core concept that I've given you. That's fine, man. That's exactly what you should be doing. Absolutely exactly what you should be doing. Every single time you play Rust, you put your own fucking spin on things. And there you go. You've got your little uh, two squares and two triangles have taken a mind of their own and you've got a little uh, neat little uh, base going here. Big circular base. And I mean, again, you know, I mean, sure, circular bases aren't the most secure things in the world, but fuck, man. Again, you figure things out. You do your wall stacking and you figure all that lovely stuff out. There you go, guys. All right. So uh, I'm Tom Snow, and this has been just like a really quick, short, terrible base build video. Um, not supposed to be anything special, but I figured I'd... Uh, I'd show you guys anyway. Just think uh, quick to start off with. Two, two squares, two triangles. Build up from there. Figure that shit out as you go. Uh, this here is a little floor pen I have been sort of experimenting with. It's not great. And especially considering there's only one um, large furnace in here. But it's all about uh, experimenting. That's what you need to do in Rust. Experiment your fucking heart out, man. Just, just play. Just figure things out, and if you can't, if you don't really want to do it in Rust, go grab, uh, go grab Fortify, man. All right, guys, Tom Snow, peace out. Hit a sub, hit a like. If you didn't like it, if you want to suck, fuck off. All right, peace out. I'm Tom. Whoop whoop. Yeah, I don't know what that was.